Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday Word service. This Wednesday Word is a weekly service hosted by Marie Burbick Ministries International. I am Sister Yolanda Smith, and I will be facilitating tonight's service. A very warm welcome to you all on behalf of the head of our ministry, Reverend Marie Burbick, and the entire ministry team. I greet our ministers, Minister Marcio Wright, Pastor Tilak Sankar, the head of our intercessory team, Sister Claudia Grant Morris, and our intercessory team. To our regular Wednesday Word sisters and brothers, welcome back. If you are here for the very first time, a very special welcome. We hope you will join us again, and we ask that you just invite someone to come along. We have a great service lined up for you tonight. Tonight, ministering will be Sister Dadrian Smith. As Rev had stated before, if you were on, Sister Dadrian was a part of the Kingdom Speakers training, and so Rev continues to equip and to train persons to go out and to be on the forefront in spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. So tonight, Sister Dejan will be ministering. Prepare your hearts and get ready for the spirit of God to move. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So without further ado, I'm going to just ask Minister Marcia to pray, after which I will Good night, good night, everybody. As we come before the Lord, let us quieten our hearts. Let us concentrate. Let us all just look to him. Look to him. I'm just going to sing one verse of a, of, of a prayer course, which will usher, put our spirits in the right frame of mind and really look into the Holy Spirit to come on this platform tonight and to do his thing. Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost Fall on me, anointing fall on me, oh, anointing fall on me, anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, anointing fall on me. Blessed Holy Ghost, Father, we come before you tonight. Oh, merciful Father, we thank you. Abba, Father, Daddy, we come to you and we thank you, God, for our lives. We thank you for spearing our lives. Mighty God, we thank you for your son that you sent to bridge the gap between us and you, my God, when, when sin came in. And because of your son, God, he has given us that gift of eternal life, mighty God. And I thank you. I thank you, God, for the nudgings that you have placed in man to accept this wonderful gift of salvation, this gift of hope. So, God, as we start this meeting tonight, we invite your holy presence. We invite you, and mighty God, we cover each person that will open their mouths and speak. We ask that your Holy Spirit overcome, overtake them, and what comes from them is you, God. And Father, as they minister, it will fall on fruitful ground. God, we will not just only hear, but we must move to put whatever we hear in action so we can bear fruit, because God, that is the 
ultimate <laughs> as a Christian that we bear fruit. You don't want any of us, God, sitting not bearing fruit. So mighty God, we cover each minister. We cover this ministry tonight. We bind and break every spirit that is not not that should not be here so who it was we welcome you thank you lord we pray and give you all the honor and the glory amen amen glory to god most righteous father our lord our king our all in all father tonight as we are gathered here lord jesus Father, we just ask that your Holy Spirit be with us tonight, mighty God. Father, this is another night of the Wednesday word, God. We ask your presence, Lord. We ask that your Holy Spirit will tabernacle with us tonight, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask that you will open the hearts of every person on tonight, mighty God. So whatever you have poured into your servants to download, God, will be received, God. Any blockage, any hindrance, mighty God, within your people, mighty God, that will would have resist mighty God your word tonight God we pray you will remove it Lord Father God we ask for your divine blood coverage tonight upon this platform Lord Jesus we ask God that you will send your angels on assignment mighty God to encamp around this platform tonight God we pray mighty God that you will release your holy fire upon this line tonight God we cancel every spirit of opposition mighty God against this platform against this minister mighty God every interference of the enemy mighty God tonight God in any way shape or form God we come against it God Father God we come tonight God and we ask God that your Holy Spirit will be manifested tonight Lord Jesus we cancel the plans of the adversary tonight God we cover every minister mighty God we cover every person who will participate on this line tonight Father God we pray that any plan, any plot of the adversary, mighty God, tonight, God, is rendered powerless, is rendered nullified, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, tonight, as your people will impart, mighty God, your word, God, we pray, God, that every heart, mighty God, will be receptive tonight, God. Father, cover this ministry, Lord Jesus. Cover our leader, mighty God. Cover the ministry team, mighty God. Every attack against this ministry. We can't sleep. We render them powerless. We render them null and void. Every assignment of the adversary against this ministry, against the leader of this ministry, against the ministers, against the followers. Father God, we send Holy Ghost fire, mighty God. Oh God, no, you will go to Robo. Jesus, Father, we just ask your divine coverage, God. Cover Thank every God. aspect, mighty God, of this service tonight. Cover, mighty God. Cover, cover, cover. Every, <laughs> every plan, God. Yes, every Lord. Plan. Every opposition, God, every evil voice speaking against this ministry, God, silence, we silence them now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every plan, mighty God of this ministry, God, we put the vision of our leader of this ministry, mighty God, that you have given her the mandate for Lord Jesus. We place everything in your hands, Lord Jesus. Let your will be done, mighty God. Take full control. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. At this time, we will have our scripture reading, which will be done by Sister Lillian Marks. Our scripture reading comes to us tonight from Psalms 93. Over to you, Sister Lillian. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Um, so the scripture reading comes from Psalm 93, and it is thus. The Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The Lord is also established that it cannot be moved. 
thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. This is the word of the Lord, and we honor it by saying thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much, Sister Lillian. At this time, we will have Sister Lauren, who will pray as well. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, who is good, my favorite word for you, God, because you are good, you are sovereign. Father God, we look upon you because you are the truth. There is no other way, Lord. You are the source and our only source. And so, Father, we come to you tonight, oh God, with our hearts, oh God, coming to you to say, Lord, we're here. We're here for another Wednesday word, another service, oh God, another service in which, oh God, we are here for different reasons, oh God. But Lord, let it be that we're here to praise you, that we're here to worship you, oh God. And whatever it is in our hearts that we're seeking, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will, oh God, that you will, oh God, let if it is your will, let it be, Lord. I pray, oh God, that this service, oh God, will be free of interruptions, oh God. It will be free of interruptions, oh God, internet interruptions, disturbances anywhere, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that everything that will try to obstruct the service tonight, oh God, that it will not be, oh God, that your power, oh God, will come in, that you will reign tonight and you will be supreme, oh Lord God, that, oh God, you will show your people who you are, oh God. Oh Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will show off tonight, oh God, so that we can know, oh God, that you are who you say you are, oh God, so that, oh Lord, whoever is doubtful tonight, oh God, whoever has a doubt in their heart or in their mind, Lord Jesus, they will know that you are the truth. You are the way and you are the life. And so, God, I commit the service to you. I commit, oh God, the ministers to you. I commit Reverend Marie to you tonight, oh God, as she brings the word of wisdom. I commit, oh God, Sister Dadrian Smith to you tonight, oh God, that, oh Lord, the words that come from her tonight, it will be from you, O oh God, that you will fill her up, O oh God, so that your people, O oh God, will know who you are. Your people will be blessed tonight, O oh God. So I turn the service over to you. It is in your hands, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, we will have our song of praise will be from Shabelle Franklin, No Foreign God. Wisest. You are stronger than the strongest. Yes, God, you are richer than the richest. You're clothed with majesty. You're clothed with power. You're clothed with strength. The heavens declare the glory of the Lord. The earth belongs to you. The heaven belongs to you. Father, we give you glory. Because of you, I will flourish like the palm tree.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to the name of God. I'm just going to invite you to just unmute your microphones and just send up some praise to the King of Kings. Just unmute your phone and just send up some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. So we continue tonight's services. We'll have our notices. Uh, let me wish everyone who had a birthday on behalf of our leader, Reverend Marie, let me wish everyone who had a birthday. Are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Let me wish everyone who had a birthday on behalf of our ministry, leader Reverend Marie Burbick, let me wish everyone a happy birthday for those persons who will have birthdays later on this week. Happy birthday. We hope you will have a blessed one and that you will enjoy every minute of your day. Glory to God. On a somber note, on behalf of our leader, Reverend Marie, we'd like to extend condolences to Sister Melissa Toussaint, who lost her dad. Sister Melissa, our prayers are with you. We are with you. We are covering you in prayers. And we pray that God will give you all the strength, the comfort, and the peace as you try to get through this very difficult time. Amen. Glory to God. Also, the Tuesday, Tuesday services is on next Tuesday, February 8th. That's the Power Tuesday in New York. I'm gonna bring that up on screen. That's next week, Tuesday night. It starts at 7 p.m. It's in Queens, New York. Be there, invite as many persons as possible to come out, invite, 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 invite all those persons in the tri-state area who you know would want to be there for the blessing. There's blessing, there's deliverance, there's healing. Go out, I encourage you. Go out for those persons who wanna travel in from other states, feel free to do so. Be there, don't miss it. If you can be there, make all the necessary arrangements to be there. It promises to be very powerful as usual. Apostle Stanley, will be ministering, the ministry team will be there. Marie Burbick Ministries International invites you to Power Tuesdays every Tuesday at 7 p.m., 19418 120th Avenue in St. Albans, Queens, New York. Come out and be healed and delivered. Receive the word of God through teaching and the prophetic ministry. Come out and let us pray you up and intercede on your behalf. Invite someone for the blessing. For more information, 516-601-4175. That's Power Tuesdays every Tuesday at 7 p.m. with Reverend Marie Burbick and the ministry team at 19418 120th Avenue in St. Albans, Queens, New York. Come out and be blessed. There you have it. There you have it, people of God. Make every attempt to be there. Go out, go out in your numbers. 
Go out in your numbers, people of God. Go out in your numbers. A blessing awaits. If you are in need of healing, deliverance, breakthroughs, go out. Glory to God. Okay, so let me just show this video quickly for those persons who have not um, seen Apostle Stanley minister, those who are not familiar with him. Um, Sister Yolanda, let me just run this one quickly. Okay, Rev. Like my word, find my And that every day of this year, you will see God walking with you, walking for you, and walking in you. Yeah. You haven't seen anything yet. Let your critics gather, but God is lifting you up. The songs of wickedness are not going to me this year. In the name of Jesus, go for spiritual growth, go for mental growth, go for personal growth. You got to grow. Come on, grow, man, grow. When you're not growing, you are. All right, Sister Yolanda, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, Rep. So people of God, go out. Also, I want to encourage you to, Reverend Marie book is out, still standing. It's out. You can purchase on her website. That's at marieburbick.com. So go on her website, purchase. That way she will get all the proceeds. You can also purchase on Amazon, but on Amazon, we do know that Amazon gets majority of the proceeds of the sale. And so I would encourage you to go on her website, marieburbick.com and purchase the book. People of God, it's a book that we all should have. If you, you have bought it, I also encourage you to share with someone, get it as a gift. Valentine's Day is coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. You can also buy for a friend or whoever. So I encourage you to get this book. It's the testimony of Reverend Marie's Burbage struggle. Really a riveting book. We see her today as the firebrand lady who is small in statue but big on anointing and grace and so people of God it didn't get he, she didn't get here on an easy ride it has been difficult she has gone through the process she has gone in the valley and this book is a testament to her story glory to God people of God support go out get the book make your purchase today buy it for a friend Thank you, Sister Yolanda. It's for pre-order. It's going to be on Amazon on the 25th. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Rep. At this time, I'm going to ask anyone who has a testimony, just raise your hands. Anyone with a testimony tonight? Anyone wants to share of the goodness of God? there anyone with a testimony? Sister Aishani, I see your hand is raised. You can unmute your microphone and go ahead. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, Rev. Good Reverend night. Marie. Good, Good night, night, my dear. Okay. Um, 
my testimony is I have been having pain in my throat from last year. I don't remember the exact month. I would have to look on some papers. I, I have done two procedures already um, to check what is wrong with my throat. And um, both of those procedures, the, um, the doctor is saying that they don't see anything wrong. They can't understand why. Sometimes even when I swallow my, my saliva, it hurts. And I have gotten a lot of prayer. And Saturday, I was on a, a conference, an Zoom, and I was doing some work around the house. And I stopped and checked my phone, and I saw where Reverend Mary was going live. And I said, um, I don't go on Facebook anymore. So I said, I don't want to go on Facebook. So I saw where you have the Zoom link. So I said, OK, I'm just going to cancel that Zoom that I, am, I was on and come on this one. And I came down. After um, I wrote the request that, that I want prayer for my throat, and I was a bit surprised because most of the time when I put my, my request in the, in the chat, it normally just fly up and no mention is made about it. So I was a bit surprised when um, Rev said, oh, Aishini, you said you want prayer for your throat, get your olive oil and stuff. And I did what she said. and. Even Rev, the, the, the scripture that you mentioned, um, Ezekiel 37, after you finished, like the spirit was, I keep leading me to go back to it. I think I read it about three or four times from Saturday. I even um, was talking to one of my evangelist friends about it. And the, you said that we must pray boldly. And after you finished praying for me and stuff, and I drank the water that you instructed me, and I went to pray and I started to pray pertaining, I don't, I don't know what is wrong with my throat, nobody knows what is wrong with it. But I started to pray a different way pertaining to my throat. And glory be to God from Saturday to now I can see, sometimes I don't even remember that my throat is, was sick and then sometimes the pain will come. But from Saturday till now, it has been such a big turn around oh with my throat and everything and I am like oh thank you Jesus thank you oh, Jesus Jesus even sleeping even when I'm sleeping my throat and my neck and behind my ears are paining me and nobody can tell me what is wrong but from Saturday up until now thank you Jesus thank you for praying thank and I just want to oh thank you Oh God, I just want to talk about the goodness of God yes. pertaining to my throat and what I've been through throughout um, almost a year now and nobody can tell me what is wrong. Uh, but tonight I am almost nine. Sometimes I don't remember anything about my throat. I can eat now and don't have to say, ah, oh, that pain is good. Once I swallow, there's a pain. So I have to chew, 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 like that until everything almost dissolves in my mouth before I can actually swallow without feeling any pain. But no, it's just each day it is getting better and better almost. Sometimes I forget that, oh, let me just drink some water and I don't feel anything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for praying. Glory be to God. Amen. God is good. Right. I'm so happy God. for you. So happy for you, my sister. Um, you know what, Sister Yolanda? The Holy Spirit is ministering the words, seal it. As she's testifying, the Holy Spirit is, is, is uh, ministering the words, seal it. So I'm going to ask Sister Claudia, can you just seal that healing for me in the realms of the Spirit? Just seal that healing for her. Lift up your hands, Aishini, even though we cannot see you. Sister Claudia, just seal that healing for me now. Hallelujah. Almighty God and our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that there's still a balm in Gilead. And Father, we lift up our sister before you, mighty God. You know the afflictions that was upon her. And God, we declare healing. We seal that healing, yes. oh God over her life right now, over her in throat, the in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living The God. doctors report, hallelujah, Jesus, 
they will marvel, mighty God. When she goes in, they will marvel at your works, almighty God. We cover her, oh hallelujah. We thank you for her testimony. We thank you, Lord, that your word came forth and she received your word, hallelujah. She believed and she received your word. And so we seal it and the enemy can have no power. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. No dominion My over God. her life in the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Jesus, she shall yes, live. Lord. She shall declare. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Yes, your Lord. power. Lord. Victory. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Victory. Oh, Jesus, yes. that she received. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. Yes. 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 Mighty name. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We declare it done. In the mighty name of Jesus. We declare it done in your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your healing and your deliverance. Thank you for coming through for her. Jesus. In Jesus' name. My Amen. God. Glory to God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We move in obedience. As the Spirit of God leads, whatever the Lord says, that's what we will do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Back to you, Sister Yolanda. Is there anyone else with a testimony? Anyone else with a testimony? Okay, there is no one else. So Sister Claudia, no one else with a testimony, win once. Okay, Rev, it's over to you now for the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom will come tonight from Reverend okay. Marie. Bless the Lord. Good evening again, everyone. All of you who are just joining, God bless you. It is so good to have you. Let me just start, first of all, by addressing something that Aishani would have said um, as she was giving her testimony. And she mentioned that normally when she puts a request in the chat, a prayer request, we might not mention it. Um, it's not on purpose. You know, we try our best when the requests come in and when persons type it. But honestly, sometimes I don't see it because as you know how it is when a live is going, the comments are just moving very quickly up the screen. But what I can tell you is that if you just move by faith when I'm praying, at times, I might not be praying for you, but if you move by faith, you can receive your healing and your breakthrough. It has happened many times. So don't get discouraged when your name is not called and your particular request. I might not see it. I might not pick it up. Just move by faith because God is a God who is merciful. And if you believe, you will receive. Amen. Glory to God. All right. So I won't be long tonight. I just want to share with you quickly on the Macedonia call. For those of you who may not know what that is, if you turn to the book of Acts chapter 16, I just want to read for you quickly the book of Acts chapter 16. Let me see if I can pull it up here on the screen. And I'm going to read from the New International Version. So that's the book of Acts chapter 16. Now it says, Paul came to Derbe and then to Lystra, where a disciple named Timothy lived, whose mother was Jewish and a believer, but whose father was a Greek. The believers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of him. Paul wanted to take him along on the journey. So he circumcised him because the Jews who lived in that area, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from town to town, they delivered the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem for the people to obey. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and grew daily in numbers. Listen keenly here from verse six. Paul and his companions traveled throughout the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been kept by the Holy Spirit from preaching the word in the province of Asia. When they came to the border of Mysia, they tried to enter Bithynia, but the spirit of Jesus would not allow them. So they passed by Mysia and went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision of a man of Macedonia standing and begging him, 
come over to Macedonia and help us. After Paul had seen the vision, we got ready at once to leave for Macedonia, concluding that God had called us to preach the gospel to them. This is the word of the Lord from the book of Acts chapter 16. I read for you up to verse 10. Now, what I wanna to bring to your attention tonight about this is that Paul was an apostle, arguably the greatest of the apostles, amen? Now, in this season, the spirit of God is ministering. From last year, the Lord has been giving me this word over and over, that he's raising up apostles, new apostolic voices in the kingdom. In this season, that is what the Lord is doing. And he's sending them out to plant churches, to build the kingdom of God. Now, we are in the end times. We are in that time before the second coming of Christ. And the Bible says the word of God must be preached to the whole world. Every corner of the world, the word of God must reach before Christ comes. If you look at the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 14, it will tell you that the word of God must reach every corner, every crevice of the world to all nations, and then the end will come. Now, like Paul, some of us, we want to go one way. Remember what the scripture just said. Paul, his intentions were to go to one place, but that's not where God wanted him to go. It is the same with some of us in this season. We want to go one way and the spirit of God is leading us to go somewhere else. Now, when God does not release you to go to a particular place, you should not go. You cannot move. The spirit of God is going to convict you and you cannot go. If you're an obedient servant of God, you cannot go. Now, when God has not released you to go to certain places, you not only cannot go, but you should not go. Because if you go, that's disobedience. Paul wanted to go to Asia, but the spirit of God said no. The Holy Spirit just held him where he was and directed him somewhere else. During the night, the scripture says, that Paul had a vision of a man in Macedonia calling to him and saying, come, come to Macedonia and help us. Why? Because Paul was an apostle. He was going across the nations planting churches. So the church there in Macedonia needed help. So they were calling on Paul to come. We need you here. So even though Paul's intentions were to go to one place, that's not the plan of God. So he ended up going to Macedonia because that's where he was needed. Many of you are moving according to the flesh in this season. And if you do that, you will miss the, what God is calling you to do and where he's sending you. You must be sensitive to the Holy Spirit in this season. Many of you are apostles, but you're not yet appointed. So God is positioning you, he's raising you up. You're not yet at that level where you are spiritually mature to sit in the office of the apostle, but you carry the apostolic anointing. And that is the problem these days. Many persons don't realize that. So they adopt this title of apostle and they have not yet had the experience. They do not yet have the grace for the office, but they sit in the office, all right? So I have to point that out to you before I go any further. Now, what is very important also is that you don't take on assignments that God didn't send you into. Amen. And don't try to run ahead of God in terms of the office where you've been called. Remember, I always say this, that David was appointed as a teenager and never took the crown. He did not sit on the throne until he was 30. So it takes time for you to be prepared and to be processed. However, there are some people now who are ready that God is raising up and he's going to commission and send them out. Quite possibly some of you are here tonight. So this word is for you. And then there are others whom God is preparing. You're not ready yet. But he sent you here tonight so that you can be sensitive to the prodding that is going on in the realms of the spirit because you can feel it. He's positioning some of you. That is why he's putting you in situations now where you're meeting people who can mentor you and take you to that next level. But never try to run ahead of God and sit into an office that you may be called to, but you're not yet appointed in that particular office. Okay, so don't try to assume that office at all, because I've ministered on this before, that if you do that, you, on, you will attract battles that you cannot manage because you're not at that level to take on that kind of warfare amen so this is a word of wisdom for some people tonight i want to remind you before i go that 
apostles are leaders because many of us today we are carrying the title apostle and if you sit some of these people down and ask them what does an apostle do they cannot tell you but they are carrying the title so let me help you out quickly tonight by just summarizing apostles are leaders it's the highest office of the fivefold ministry the apostle is even above the prophet but it's not even about being highest or lowest it is about the role and the importance of that role so the apostles are the leaders they are the organizers they are the builders they raise up and plant churches they raise up leaders they raise up and plant cells. So sometimes you may not be planting churches, but you're raising up cells. Different groups of people in different areas that are evangelizing and carrying the gospel. So these are the things that apostles do. They provide covering for other churches and covering for other leaders. Amen? So one does not assume the office of the apostle easily or lightly. You do not assume that office because it carries huge responsibility. The lives and future of ministries and churches rest in your hands. So the next person you will see who has the title of an apostle, pause for a moment and question how they got into that office at this stage. Are they really qualified for that title that they are carrying? These are important things for you to consider in this season because we are in a time where it is easy for many of us to go out and minister, but there are a lot of wild cowboys and cowgirls ministering. They are not under any covering. So in this season, just make sure you are sensitive to the Holy Spirit. If he has already prepared you, he's going to shift you. If he has not fully prepared you, he's telling you right now to be sensitive because I'm sending the people who can help you prepare for the huge assignment because an apostolic assignment is a huge call. So God is preparing some of you to walk in that office and some of you he's preparing to release you in this season. Continue to stay in the presence of God and be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Thank you so much. Oh, glory to God, my God. So much in that word. Wow, wow, what a mouthful that was. People of God, let us ponder on these words as they have been released by the woman servant, Reverend Marie. Let us not run ahead of God in this season. Let us wait on God, wait to be processed. So when we go out there, we will be fully processed and ready. Glory to God. Hallelujah. At this time, we will have our intercessory prayer. I just encourage persons to place your requests in the chat. Place your requests in the chat. Those who are in need of prayer, just put your requests in the chat. The head of our intercessory team, Sister Claudia Grant Morris, will intercede on your behalf tonight. Just put your request in the chat. I see immigration breakthrough. I see prayer for spiritual growth, prayer for peace of mind. Let me try to help you a bit here, Sister Claudia. Prayer for healing and the right moves. Prayer for new job spiritual growth, total healing and deliverance, prayer for healing for my children's father, healing for my daughter, healing again, prayer for healing again. There's someone who wants the Holy Spirit to be magnified in her. Prayer for my daughter to carry her baby to full term. Prayer for new job and deliverance. Prayer for my family. Prayer for my children to be saved and healed. Let me see if I'm missing anything here. Prayer for mental health. Prayer for peace and protection in my home. Immigration matter again. Okay, so it's over to you now, Sister Claudia. People of God, I just ask you to just mute your microphones.
All participants, just mute your microphones, please. Let us pray. Consuming fire sweet perfume, may your awesome presence fill this room. May your glory overflow upon your people tonight, mighty God. God, you're sovereign. You're holy, you're worthy, and you're magnificent. We exalt your name because your name is above all other names, mighty God. Here we are, we are your children. We are in need of your forgiveness, mighty God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that tonight you'll empty me of self. You will cleanse me of all unrighteous thoughts, words, and deeds. Forgive me, Lord. We have sinned knowingly and unknowingly. And help me, O oh God, to walk in a righteous relationship with you. God, as I come to lift up the request of your people, I ask you, O oh Father God, to just anoint us afresh. I pray, mighty God, that your grace will be poured out over all our lives. We acknowledge, O oh God, that we are not our own and we belong to you. We acknowledge, O oh God, that we are nothing without you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We acknowledge your word which says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, then you shall ask what you will and it shall be granted. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so tonight, O oh God, we come asking for your people, God. Those who are in need of healing, mighty God, we pray, God, that your healing hands will touch us, God. We pray, almighty God, that the faith, oh, hallelujah, Jesus, will be exercised. We will exercise our faith, mighty God, like that woman with the issue of blood. And we shall reach out and touch the very hem of your garment, knowing that we will be made well. The crowd was thick, but she persevered and she pushed. So tonight, God, somebody says, who touched me? We are reaching out tonight because we're in need of healing. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so, God, here we are in your presence. We need your deliverance, mighty God. Father God, you know every situation now, God. Every person who has requested prayer for deliverance, you know, you know what is holding them. You know what has entrapped them. But God, I pray tonight that you will loose and deliver your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, we lift up those who have immigration issues to you now, Lord. Father God, you know what state their process is at. And so, God, sometimes it will take years upon years and they become frustrated and they become hopeless. But, God, tonight we ask that you'll move the documents, mighty God, from where they are, from the back to the front, from out of the cabinet to the desk. Hallelujah. We see a stamp of approval in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare them approved in the mighty name of Jesus tonight. Immigration matters. Full approval, full stamp of approval in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift up the one, oh Lord Jesus, who is pregnant, mighty God. We pray, Lord, that the pregnancy will come to term. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
We pray for good health. We pray for good strength, mighty God. We pray for perfect delivery in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that every, every, every limb, oh God, every muscle, every organ, hallelujah, will be formed, mighty God, because you are with that baby in the womb, mighty God. You created that child, mighty God, and you will see through to the deliverance, mighty God. Cover the parent in the mighty name of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah, cast away every anxiety and every fear in the mighty name of Jesus that is crippling them now. God, mental health is real. The signs of the times, mighty God, people are worried. People are feeling hopeless. People have broken relationships that are driven them to the edge, mighty God. Their minds are not settled, mighty God. Some of them can't even think straight. God, we bind up every suicidal thought that is affecting them right now. And we send it back to the pit of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If it's a financial issue, mighty God, that is bombarding their mind, mighty God, I pray, oh God, that their thoughts, oh God, will be open to receive from you. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, they will open the windows of heaven and pour out upon your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever is causing that peace of mind to be disturbed, God, we pray, Lord God, for the deliverance. Hallelujah, Jesus. We pray, almighty God, that you will pour out fresh upon your people hallelujah jesus father god we pray for those who are feeling lonely we pray for those who are feeling depressed we pray almighty god for those who are feeling weak we pray god that you will strengthen them we pray that you remove fear and doubt from amongst your people even now they will know who in whom they believe and, and they will declare that you are able to do far greater than they can even ask or even imagine. Even in this moment, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. For those who are seeking jobs tonight, God. For those who are seeking jobs tonight, God. We pray for every application that has been sent out. We pray for favor, mighty God, over every application. We pray that emails will come with invitations, mighty God, for job interviews. We pray that phone calls will come with invitations for job interviews. We pray, almighty God, that those doors will be open, mighty God. We pray that they'll be poised and ready. Oh, hallelujah, for the offer. Oh, Jesus, that is about to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come through for your people tonight, almighty God. Come through for your people, almighty God. Hallelujah. We pray, mighty God, for deliverance. We pray for open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Open doors of opportunity, God. We thank you that you open doors that no man can shut. And you shut doors that no man can open. And sometimes we don't understand when you are at work. But God, tonight, help us tap into your resources, God, that you have provided for us. You say you never see the righteous forsaken or the sea begging bread. But God, help us to keep our eyes fixed on you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you. You said we have not because we ask not. And so tonight, God, we ask, oh God, that you'll grant unto all of us the desires, mighty God, the requests that we have placed on this chat according to your will for our lives. Yet not our will be done, but your will be done. For you know the plans you have for us, plans for good and not evil, Plans to give us a future and a hope. And so, God, we entrust everything into your hands. And we tell you thanks for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
Glory to God. Thank you so much, Sister Claudia, for interceding for the people of God tonight. We just pray that as you prayed, persons would have into the prayer. People of God, let me remind you that based on our time constraints, we are not able to pray for each person or each request individually. But what is done is that the requests are normally pulled from each meeting and Reverend Marie and the team prays over each one. Glory to God. We move on now into our ministering session where Sister Deidre and Smith will come to us with a word that the Lord has laid on our heart. We pray that you will listen and you will receive all that the Lord has given this woman of God to impart upon the people tonight. Glory to God. Over to you, Sister Adrian. Thank you, Sister Yolanda. Greetings to you, woman of God. Amen. First, I would like to greet the Holy Spirit which is the head of my life. Then I would like to greet Reverend Marie Burbick, the leader of this ministry. More grace to you, woman of God. May the oil on your head never run dry and may the fire on this altar continue to burn. Amen. I'd like to greet Pastor Keela Sankar. Greetings, man of God. I'd like to greet Minister Marcia Wright. And I'll also like to greet all the other ministers here present tonight. Special greetings to my mother who is joining us tonight. Greetings, Ma. And saints of God, I would like to greet you too in the matchless name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Can somebody just worship the Lord with me? Can somebody just give the Lord a mighty praise? Yes, God. For he's he going to do extremely and abundantly tonight. Mighty God, hallelujah. Just lift your hands where you are tonight and just worship the Lord. Because when the praise go up, hallelujah, then the blessings will come down. Hallelujah. To God, we thank you. That Jesus, we give you thanks of God. I'm ministering to you a word entitled, Hold On and But. And tonight, our foundation scripture is taken from Romans 5, verses 3 and 4. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Knowing that tribulations work with patience and patience experience and experience hope. Hallelujah. Now tonight, I would like to lay a foundation by defining the words that form the acronym Come on now, clear this up. But, because in the rest message to me, I heard believe, act, and trust, act and trust. Now the Oxford Dictionary defines believe as to accept that something is true without proof, especially without proof. Now the word of God is infallible and it has stood the test of time. This can be proven by the persons who have received their miracles. Many have never seen the manifestations of such miracles, but it was their faith that produced a result. Result is credited. Hallelujah. Now, Mark 16. 
16 and verse 16 states, he that believeth, so you have to believe, and is baptized, here is the act, shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be condemned. Now I'm going to back that up with Romans 10 and verse 11, which states, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Is somebody believing tonight? Hallelujah. Now let us look at act and what it means. It means to take action or to do something. Now, when we examine the scriptures, brothers and sisters in Christ, we realize that persons were required to rise up, take up their bed, walk, offer a sacrifice, leave from one place to another, walk around the walls of Jericho, deliver a prophecy, touch the hem of Jesus's garment. They were required to change their levels or their perspective. And when we examine the story of Zacchaeus, we realize that he had to change his level. He had to move from the ground, climb a tree, so that he was able to see Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody received his blessings after he had prayed for his friends. Some persons were required to hold a fast. Hallelujah. We were also required in the scriptures to pay our tithes and offerings. So in order for God to move, we have to act. Hallelujah, somebody. Are you with me? And so my final word tonight is trust. Come on now. What is trust? You might ask me. Trust, according to the Oxford Dictionary, is the firm belief in the reliability, the truth, or ability of someone or something. Are you trusting Jesus tonight? Are you trusting Jesus tonight? Let me tell you something. God has a track record that is found in the pages of the Bible. For every situation that you are facing, that I am facing in my life, there is a prescription that if applied will work beyond the shadow of a doubt. Can I tell you that in Mark 13 and verse 31, the Lord says, the heaven and the earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Can I say that again? My words shall not pass away. Are you with me, somebody? Now, tonight, I am here to help us to understand that when we believe, when we act, and when we trust the Most High God, we establish a relationship with Him. I want us to understand that that relationship with God poses a very credible threat to the kingdom of darkness. Are you hearing me, somebody? I also want us to understand that because of the magnitude of this threat, the devil and his minions will use whatever strategy that they can to either disrupt or break this relationship. Can I tell you, the devil is not after your money. The devil is not after your house. The devil is not after your car. He has more cars than you. He has more houses than you. But what the devil does not have that you have and you are trying to have is a relationship with God. Are you with me, somebody? It is my job here tonight through the power of the Holy Ghost to tell you that the devil is trying to use your situation as a weapon to defeat you. It is also my responsibility tonight 
to equip you with a weapon of mass destruction called hold on and but. And this weapon will help you to overcome his advances. I know that your situation looks hopeless. I have been hopeless. I have been hard pressed on every side, but I was saved because I held on. I believed the word of God. I acted the word of God and I trusted the word of God. Can I tell you my brothers and sisters tonight that I still am holding on to the word of God. I still am acting out the word of God and I am still trusting in the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. I would like to deposit into your spirit that the fact that you will not go down. Can I say that again? You will not go down. Here is why. The God that we serve is a lifter up. Hallelujah, somebody. So if the God that we serve is a lifter up, you cannot and will not go down. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in Job 22, verse 29, when men are cast down, hallelujah, Jesus, then thou shalt say, there is a lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. Are you being lifted tonight? Are you holding on and butting? Is your soul being lifted up? Because you have cast your anchor upon the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Now tonight, let me introduce you to a man called Job. Job lost every earthly position he owned to the point that his very wife told him to curse God and die. But Job had a dynamite. Job had a weapon of mass destruction. Can I tell you that in Job 6 and verse 18, Job boldly declared, because he knew this, the parts of their ways are turned aside. They go to nothing and perish. Why did Job say that? Because there were persons who had turned away from the way of Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. And Job knew that if he turned away from the word of God, then he would surely perish. But if he held on, if he battled with Christ, with the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, he knew that he would be delivered. Hallelujah, somebody. Now, can I paraphrase Job for somebody tonight? Job told his, I am not in first. I am going to hold on. I am going to bat because I know who I am. Hallelujah, somebody. My God has a track record. I will wait upon the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Are you waiting upon God tonight? Hallelujah. Are you waiting upon your season? Are you waiting for your result? Hallelujah, Jesus. Tonight, I want to inform someone that Job's God is your God. He has not changed. He will not change. He does not change. Hallelujah. Your God is a specialist making the impossible possible. So keep on holding on. Keep on batting. Keep on holding on. Keep on batting. Now, can I give you some examples of persons who held on? Hallelujah, Jesus. So if Jacob had given up, a nation would not have been born. If Queen Esther had given up, an entire race would have been destroyed. And if David, hallelujah, would, have, would not, would have given up, hallelujah, then Goliath would not have been slain. Can I tell somebody that if Anna had given up, the greatest prophet, Samuel, would not have been born. Can I tell somebody that if Ruth had given up, she would not have met a boss. She would not have met her destiny. Now, can I tell you somebody that if Marie Burbick had given up, then Marie Burbick Ministries International 
would not have been a reality if Elisha had given up. He would not have received the mantle of Elisha. Now, if the woman with the issue of blood she had given up, she wouldn't have received her healing after 12 long years of affliction. Now, if the man, hallelujah, Jesus, by the pool of Bethesda, if he would have given up, then he would not have received healing after 38 long years. Church of God, can I tell you something tonight? The greatest part of the night is as it approaches daylight. Now, can I tell somebody, your time for giving up is not now. Your time for giving up is not now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can I encourage someone tonight that your Manasseh blessing is just around the corner? So the Bible declares, and verse 51, mighty God, and Joseph called the name of his firstborn Manasseh. Hallelujah, Jesus. For God said he hath made me forget all my toils and my father's house. Do you forget or do you remember that Joseph was thrown into a pit by his brothers? He was left to die. But God gave him a Manasseh. Now, can I encourage someone tonight that if you hold on and but, then the Lord will give you a Manasseh house, a Manasseh car, a Manasseh degree, a Manasseh life, a Manasseh, Manasseh finances, a Manasseh job. Just hold on and but. But for your manasseh, can I prophesy tonight to someone that if you hold on and but, the Lord will send you an Ephraim. Hallelujah, Jesus. For in Genesis 41 and verse 52, the Bible states that he, referring to Jacob, named his second son Ephraim. Now, can I tell you what Ephraim means? It means double prosperity, saying, God has prospered me in the land of my sorrow. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is God prospering you in the land of your sorrow? You will receive double healing, double breakthrough, double prosperity. And as Reverend Burdick likes to say, double shall be your portion. Woman, I come tonight to tell you that giving up is not an option. Man, I have come to tell you tonight that you have come too far from where you started from. Hold on and but a little longer. I can hear my mother in the spirit singing, take a grip, my brother, take a grip, another grip, hold on and never let go. No matter what the people of this world will say, hold on and never let go. No matter what Goliath will say, no matter what Penina will say, no matter what the crowd will say, hold on and but, hold on and but. Not tonight. I wish somebody would get up off their seat. I wish somebody would get up off your seat and take a prophetic grip. Hold on to the hedge of your table. Hold on to your curtain. Reach out into the realms of the spirit and hold to the hem of Jesus' garment. Hold on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hold on and never let go. I wish somebody will tell the devil, devil, I am holding on. I'm going to bat until my season changes. I'm going to bat until my manasseh comes. I'm going to bat until my Ephraim comes. I'm going to bat until my boss comes. I'm going to bat and I'm going to keep on batting. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, can I take it down a notch? Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. I wish I'm going to take it down now. Martin Luther King Jr. say, Hallelujah, Jesus. If you can't fly, you better run. 
And if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, you better crawl. But by all means, keep on moving. Keep on moving. But I, Dadrian Smith, I am coming tonight. I am stopping by to tell you, keep on holding on. Keep on batting. God, can I tell for and God said it tonight? Yet not this tree spear. We are persecutors, cast down, but not destroyed. So keep on holding on, keep on batting. Daniel's God surely will deliver if you only look to him by faith. Daniel's God surely will deliver can i tell a woman tonight or a man you are childless but keep on batting you are homeless but keep on batting you are heartbroken mighty god but keep on batting you are husbandless woman but you better keep on batting man you are wifeless but keep on batting you are hungry but keep on batting mighty god you are sick but keep on batting you are jobless but keep on batting your furniture mighty god is about to be repossessed but keep on batting your car is about to be repossessed Keep on batting. Can I tell you that house is about to be foreclosed? But keep on batting. Keep on batting. Mighty God, you feel like God has forgotten you. But I'm here tonight to tell you, God has not forgotten you. So keep on batting. He may be four days late, but he's always on time. I want to assure you tonight that God will complete what he has started in you because Philippians 1 verse 6 declares, being confident of this very thing, that he which has begun to you until the day of cheese. That was a track record of keeping his words. You better stand on your feet and give the Lord a mighty praise. You better walk up in your house and give the Lord a mighty praise. You better walk around your room and give the Lord a mighty praise. And if you're driving in traffic tonight, you better give the Lord a mighty praise. Wherever you are, give the Lord a mighty praise. Because Deuteronomy 31 and verse 8 states, And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. Hallelujah, somebody. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, never be dismayed. Just keep on keeping on, keep on holding on, keep on batting. Can I tell you if there's a man or a woman to bat, then there is a God to answer. Can I repeat that, somebody? If there's a man or a woman to bat, then surely there is a God to answer. Can I tell you tonight? Jesus understands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Jesus understands. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. And he identifies with you. Mighty God. Can I tell you that as Jesus pressed towards Calvary and the magnitude of what lies ahead of him hit him, he said, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. But then Jesus had a revelation. He said, not my will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah, Jesus. Is somebody saying tonight, not my will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
Mighty God, mighty God, can I tell you tonight that God, that Jesus died so that you and I might have life and have it more abundantly. He paid a ransom sacrifice for you and my soul. Hallelujah, Jesus. What would have happened if Jesus had given up? I say, what would have happened if Jesus had given up? A life for lives was his sacrifice. Can I tell somebody that again? A life for lives was his sacrifice. Jesus, he was denied. Mighty God, he was whipped. Hallelujah, Jesus. He was abandoned. Mighty God, he was betrayed. Hallelujah. He was put upon, but he kept feet on batting. Mighty God, I want to tell you tonight that your story is for your glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody, you better catch that in your spirit. Your story is for your glory. Mighty God, mighty God, it is a price for your testimony. It is a price for your anointing. It is a price for the oil. Can I tell somebody further along? We'll know all about it. Further along, we will understand why. So hold on, hold on, and keep on batting. Keep on batting. Mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. Andrea Reed, hold on, keep on batting. Amber Treadways, keep on batting. Shaquille Han, keep on batting. Yolanda Smith, keep on batting. Hallelujah, Jesus. Kenesha Russell, keep on batting. John Jeremiah, keep on batting. Eileen Riggs, keep on batting. Charmaine Johnson, can I tell you? Keep on batting, keep on batting. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Tonight, people of God, as I come to the end, mighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty God, let your name be glorified, let your name be glorified, Jesus, let your name be glorified, mighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, let your name be glorified. Hallelujah, Jesus, mighty God. People of God, I pray that God will give you supernatural patience. Hallelujah. I pray that God will give you supernatural perseverance. I pray that God will give you supernatural stamina. And I pray that God will give you supernatural hope. I pray that you will have favor upon your head, increase upon your hands, and speed to your feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight. Tonight I've come to encourage someone. Tough times do not last, but tough people do. So hold on, hold on, and keep on batting. Keep on batting. Believe.
act and worship. And the Lord will see you through. If he has done it for me, surely he can do it for you. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Woo! Glory, 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 people of God, just hallelujah. open your microphones, just open your microphones and just praise God. Just open oh, what a hallelujah. word. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for the word, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, 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 no sound ref. Okay. Yeah. 
Glory to God. We take it down. We take it down, people of God. My God, what a fire in the house tonight. What a fire in the house tonight. We simply had to just get up and roar after a message like oh, that from the young way. lioness. Come on, people of God. This is a young lioness that we introduced to you tonight. Come on. If you believe that this woman is carrying the anointing and the fire of God, I want to hear you open your mouth tonight and say, praise God. where is your mother? Is she on the on the Zoom tonight? Sister Deidre, is she your mother? She, she was. I saw her earlier on. I'm going to look to see if I can find her red. Well, we yeah, lift her hats. There. We lift her hats to Mama. Mommy? Because Mama, Mama has produced a little spitfire. She has produced a lioness. <laughs> Glory to God. The Amen. hand of God is upon you, Deidre. We lift up the praises to God tonight for you because we see what the Lord has done and we see what is about to come. I am so proud of you tonight because people of God, Adrian came out of our mentorship program where we trained the youngsters to preach. And I'm telling you something, my God, we're pushing them out one by one in this season. So you saw Adrian tonight preaching and somebody else is gonna come up soon. And it's the same kind of fire that you are going to see coming out of them. This is the season of birthing. It is a season where those who are in the back are coming to the front. The Lord is pushing them to the front. Amen? Yes. Yes. Amen. Sister Adrian and everyone else who the Lord is lifting you up in this season, just remember what I said. Be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and be teachable and be humble. Be teachable and be humble. Be willing to submit to authority and to learn. All of us as we are coming up need to have mentors and people over us who cover us and give us guidance. So as long as you can submit to authority, as long as you are teachable and you're humble, the God is going, God is going to lift you up and take you to great heights in this season. Thank you, Sister Deidre, and we are so proud of you tonight. Well done, woman of God. The fire of God was loosed tonight. So we give him thanks for you, and we say more is to come from you. Greater is coming. Well done, Sister Deidre, and God bless you. Back to you, Sister Yolanda. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The fire of God was on tonight. Bless you. God bless you, Sister Deidre. What a word tonight. The Holy Spirit was on show tonight. Glory to God. We thank you for your obedience in leading, in the leading of the Holy Spirit as you deliver the word of God tonight. Glory to God. People of God, if you have been blessed tonight, as a ministry, Reverend Marie does not allow anyone to minister on this platform without blessing them. And so if you are led tonight after this word to bless Sister Adrian, we will put the information on screen. So you will see the information on screen to donate. Those in Jamaica, we don't want to leave you out. There is also a Scotia Bank account where you may make your deposit. People of God, what a word it has been tonight. God is raising up some people in this time. Like Rev said, God is just pulling some people from the back. Those who were not known, the little people who people would not know. Those are the people, it's not the people with the big titles. But God is raising up some unknown people now and bringing them to the forefront. Glory to God. And we just want to thank Reverend Marie for the work she has been doing in training and pouring out into the people. There are so many of us who has been trained, who have been mentored by Reverend Marie. We didn't know we had certain gifts but the Lord has used her in this season. And as the Lord had given me a word to give her, she's a midwife and she's delivering, she's birthing some people 
She's birthing some people in this season. Glory to God. I encourage you, people of God, who have been connected to this ministry. And as the sister has said in her word, hold on, keep batting. Hold on, keep batting. It doesn't matter what your situation is. Just hold on and keep batting. Glory to God. Information to sow will be on screen right now. So here it is, people of God. Okay, there it is. There it is. The devil is a liar tonight. The devil is a liar. So if you have been blessed by the word tonight and would like to bless the woman of God and the ministry, there you have it for Cash App. It's dollar sign Marie Burbick for PayPal. It's paypal.me slash Reverend Marie Burbick. For Zelle, it's 516 six zero one four one seven five for the persons in jamaica you are not left out the account is held at the mandeva branch of scotia bank the account number is six five two six nine seven so for the persons in jamaica it's a scotia bank mandeva branch it's a checking account the account number is six five two Six nine seven again for cash app, it's dollar sign Marie Burbick for PayPal, it's paypal.me slash Reverend Marie Burbick for Zelle, it's five one six six zero one four one seven five. Glory to God! Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone who has joined tonight. We want to thank you on behalf of the entire team. We want to thank you for being with us. We want to thank you for always coming on, for those who are always on. We thank you for those who are inviting. We thank you for inviting. And let me tell you, for those persons who have been sharing the link, sharing, you are evangelizing. And I ask that you will continue whenever Reverend Marie is on Zoom, whenever she is on Facebook, share the live, share the link, and continue to evangelize. Amen. Glory to God. At this time, I will ask Minister Marcia to just cover Sister Adrian and just close us out in prayer tonight. Minister Marcia. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus, let's just lift our hands and praise the Lord. Mighty Holy Ghost, I thank you, mighty Holy Ghost, that you visited us tonight. God, I thank you for your word that you poured into your woman's servant. Baba so kondele shyam baba bo sonde. Yadadaba shanda, dadadaba koshanda. Father God, I thank you. I ask God that you will allow us to, to that strength, that grace, just to hold on. Hold on. Trust in you, mighty God. Your strength to be poured over us. Baba Basanda Labashanta, daughter, walk in my steps because I have anointed you mightily. I'm paving the way for you. Walk and keep walking. Hold on to me. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 
Father God, I just want to lift you up. I want to praise you, mighty God, because you are real. We serve a risen God. And I thank you for your word. I ask God that you strengthen every one of us. I ask God that you give us the, the, the desire to act upon what we have heard. I ask God that you, you, you relieve us all of us all those who are now suffering from hopelessness because you came to give us life and life abundant so mighty god as we depart tonight i thank you for your grace baba salad of shanda no weapon no weapon no weapon no weapon that is formed will ever destroy us because we hide under your wings mighty holy ghost I thank you and lift you up. I ask God that you, you, you just hold Sister Dejan, cover her, Baba Basanda Shanda La Basonde, cause her ears to keep close to you, mighty God. Root up, Shanda Basonde Shikonde. You don't, you don't. Everything is coming against her, right, mighty God. Comfort her, mighty God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I lift her up. I lift her up. I lift up this ministry. And I thank you for who you are. I thank you, mighty Holy Ghost. Thank you for visiting with us. Thank you, Jesus. These things we ask in your precious holy name. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So on screen, we have again a reminder, Power Tuesdays, which will begin next Tuesday. That's on February 8th. Next Tuesday on February 8th, it starts at 7 p.m. For information, you may WhatsApp 516-601-4175, and you may also call or WhatsApp that number to register. Apostle Stanley Nicholas, the powerful man of God, will be ministering next Tuesday. Also the ministry team, Reverend Marie Burbick, Reverend Frederica Burbick, Evangelist Oswin Burbick will be there as well. Thank you again, people of God. What a night, what a night it has been. Glory to God. What a night it has been. Thank you, everyone. We pray that the Lord will cover you all and that the Lord will tabernacle with you all. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, everyone, for coming tonight and being a part of the service. God bless you. I know you were blessed. And um, when I cannot... who are coming for the first time, I just want when to I can't you. take another step, Lord, would you Please carry come again me? and bring someone with you. And when I've lost my fight, will you be my strength? Will you set me a table in the presence of my enemies? I shall not want. I shall not want. Oh, my soul's got a shepherd in the valley, and I shall not want. I shall not want. I shall not want. Cause my cup's running over, running over, and I shall not want. And I will lift my eyes to where my help comes from. And I won't be afraid of the shadow, cause I've seen the sun. No, I will not.